recognise this in the style of the one from the start? You know what I really struck, struck me about this painting? You know I've always had a bad back. This painting taught me how to pick things up off the ground if you've got a bad back. And so I read something years ago, so how did these women who laboured in the field picking stuff up all the time, and the method that was used was you put one hand behind your back and you went along and you swept. And you know, I joke with Paul, I haven't bent down to pick something up since 1974. <laughs> and if there's something needs to be got from under a cupboard, I ask her to get it because of my back. But it actually does work. You can, if I, if I was to go around and pick things up, it's a really effective way to pick things up and not put a strain on your black back. I did have, well, I'm sure you're all familiar with the scripture from Ruth about gleanings. And that would have informed this picture, but put it into a modern setting. Jean-Francois Mille was one of the leading artists of what was called the French Realism Movement. This picture was painted in 1857 and is in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Saw it about before the kids were born, so 30 years ago maybe. Now Mille is famous for his depiction of peasants. His most famous and obviously religious painting is the Angelus that we saw on the opening screen, but I haven't chose, chose that. The Angelus shows peasants having a break either before or after work to pray. But for me, this is the most powerful of his famous trio of paintings. The other two are Angelus and one called The Sower. Subject of this painting, Millie is gleaning, an act of scouring the field in search of leftover crop missed from the first and main harvest, familiar to all of us from the Book of Ruth. If you look into the distance, I don't know if you can see it, there is the tiniest suggestion of a church on the right horizon. And it's worth noting that the ringing of church bells would have led to the peasants stopping, praying and beginning their work, and then stopping, praying and finishing their work at the end of the day. The three women in the foreground are bent over and raking scarce remains of crop. But the meaning of this painting goes deeper than a simple depiction of the hardship of the poor. Millie demonstrate, wants to demonstrate social hierarchy and the rural working class and their struggles through the symbolic contrasts. Take note of how small the sheaves in the woman's hands are, and they're there as a practical metaphor to stand for their poverty and their social insignificance when you contrast it to the huge grain stacks. Enormous, aren't they? They're like buildings. The huge grain stacks in the background set aside for the laborers and the land, sorry, set aside for the landowners' use. Some say Millet's use of light in this picture also suggests distance and represents as the social divide between the gleaners and the official people who own the land and the buildings. And some others also point out the sun shines down the, on the group of paid workers in their light clothing in the background and in the wealthy house in the background, whilst the marginalised gleaners are placed in shadow. 